Welcome to Lynx App Training. We'll begin by logging in. Open the Lynx app on your phone and type in the username and password your employer provided into the corresponding fields. Type the username and password exactly as provided, making sure capitalized letters are capitalized. Then, tap the box next to Remember Me to save your information for faster login in the future. Tap the Login button. If you want to use links in another language, tap the menu icon and scroll down to Settings. Scroll down to Language and select the language you prefer. Language changes will take effect after you log out and log back in. Please note, this is not a translation service. It simply presents the app in different languages. If you're using links on your personal mobile phone, stay in settings and make sure that started boot is turned off. This protects your privacy while not using links. If your mobile phone is provided by your employer, tap to turn this setting on. This means that Lynx starts running automatically when your phone is turned on. Now that your settings are configured, let's start push to talking. To access the call screen, tap the arrow in the top left corner. This brings you back to the last screen that you visited. You can access the call screen at any time by tapping the menu button and tapping call. To make a PTT call, Press and hold the PTT button on the screen. Wait for it to turn green to talk and release the button when you're done talking. This top bar shows the talk group you're connected to. Tap the top bar drop down arrow and then tap on your desired group to change your talk group. To make private PTT calls, tap the private call tab on the right. The mic will say offline until you select a contact from the top bar. Select the person you'd like to private call with. Press, hold, and talk to send voice. Release when finished speaking. When receiving a private call, you can tap the notification bubble to change to the private channel. Otherwise, you must tap the private call tab to return a private call. If you want to replay details from a previous conversation, you can tap the menu, tap Call History, and tap the Triangle button to play back a recording of missed call. To compose a text message, tap the menu and tap Messages. Tap the plus button in the top right corner, click on the group, or expand with the plus button to select an individual user, type your message, and tap send. To send a photo or video, tap the plus icon, tap allow, tap the plus icon again, tap allow, tap the plus icon once more, click camera to send a live photo image, Take the photo, accept it, and press send. To send a photo from your camera roll or a video, tap the plus icon, tap gallery, select the photo or video to send, and press send. Please note, Link's text conversations with groups and contacts are stored and cannot be deleted. Permissions for links to use your camera must be turned on to add images and videos to texts. If you're on a break and want to mute incoming calls and messages, simply open the menu and tap this button to enter Do Not Disturb mode. After your break, you can check call history to play back any missed voice calls and check messages for any messages you may have missed. If a supervisor attempts to reach you on Do Not Disturb, you will receive a ping rather than a call, 
which can serve as a reminder if you forget to turn off Do Not Disturb after your break. For specific siren setup and use instructions, please see the siren setup video. If you forget your siren or the batteries need replacing, you still have a panic button in the Lynx app. Tap menu, then tap siren. Press and hold the siren button to trigger an emergency alarm that sends your location and help messages. Clicking Find checks the connection to make the siren button beep and flash for easy recognition. To use this, from the Siren tab, click My Device. To make it stop once identified, click Stop. If you want to locate another team member, tap the menu icon and tap the Live tab. To find yourself, click on the compass icon in the bottom right corner you will show up as feet on the map. There, you can pinch to zoom the screen out or in and use the plus and minus buttons. To view nearby team members, tap the top bar and select a group or individual unit. Then at the bottom, press the back button or the back button on your device to view all your team members on the live tab. You are not able to view their locations indoors. Indoor positions are provided only in an emergency. To get directions to another team member's location, tap their icon, then tap the Google Maps directions link icon at the bottom of the map. This will open directions in Google Maps. If you are assigned to work within a designated area, or have specific locations of interest assigned to you by your supervisor, you can view them on the live map on Android by tapping on Live from the menu, tapping the three dots in the top right corner, selecting Geofences, selecting Landmarks, click on the landmark, then click the Google Maps Directions link at the bottom of the screen. This will open the directions in Google Maps. To change the map view style, click the three buttons in the top right corner, click map type, then select the map type you desire. To view alerts on your device, tap the menu icon and tap alerts. These are safety monitors that are set in advance by your supervisors to raise an alarm if something happens. If your phone has external PTT and emergency buttons, please note that the emergency button does not send the three text messages that Siren does and is not considered wearable by some state laws. Also, these configurations are only available for Android. If you need additional assistance, access our training manual or contact us via email here.